all right all right all right so this is part two of the chocolate milkshake with blender 2.8 so in this part we are going to finalize everything we are modeling we are going to complete all the modeling so um i hope you enjoyed this too all right so yeah let's continue from where we ended So you can see I keep on um, rotating in the scene because I don't want to overscale anything. Alright, so checking the model to see whether I've left anything out. Um, Alright, so we are moving to the next model. Um, which will be on top of this object, this selected object. So I'm going to use a curve. So we are going to place this curve exactly on the one on, on the one below. So again, I'm checking to see whether um, it's having the skill that I want. So I'm adding, I'm subdividing two points to get extra point to make it more curvy.
so again I'm subdividing some of the points so that I can put certain parts of the curve Alright, so I'm done with placing it on the object. So the next is um, I'm going to convert this guy. I was trying to add a displacement to it, but it wasn't part of the modifier. But it wasn't part of the modifier, so um, I need to convert it to a mesh. Then I add the displacement modifier to it. And added that is going to help me get this random surface. So again, I'm rotating around the object to see how it's looking so that I will know the value I have to use. So I'm now setting up the camera because also the camera is very good for seeing what is overscaled and what is very small in the scene. So I use I normally use 100 mm focal lens for uh, my camera. And sometimes even go higher about 150 mm so it depends the scene you are going for the look you are going for
all right so so far so good um still checking to see what i am missing all right so i'm moving to the next which will be the last object which is the liquid inside the cup and i'm going to use the inner part to create it So since um, the cup was already having a subdivision modifier, um, the fluid or this new object is also having the same subdivision modifier. So what I'm trying to do is, is to model a fluid. so checking everything to see whether whether it's at the right place um, all right so I've created a new group which I will use it with the displacement modifier to get some roughness so you can see this tutorial we are using the displacement a lot because that's a very easy easy and quick way to get some roughness on your smooth surface so now you can guess what I'm trying to do I'm trying to get the liquid shape and I use the Z axis so that it won't affect other axes like the X and Y and then I um, I use the vertex paint I just created to apply this displacement only on that to apply this displacement only on that vertex uh, vertex group sorry only on that vertex group so now you can see the result is looking like a fluid. Alright, so checking to see whether everything is working right. So because of the so because of the displacement we use you can see we are getting some randomness on the surface of the liquid and which is very uh, good or at least it will help sell that um, the things on top is actually inside the liquid than just leaving it to be flat.
all right so trying to get uh, trying to create an illusion that these things are inside the liquid So this is a very quick way to create a liquid without um, spending your time to um, use the fluid um, simulation to get this kind of objects. So we are almost done with with the modeling parts and so far so good everything is looking very good so still checking to see whether everything is at the right place and whether and whether I haven't left anything out So I just noticed those bumpiness we did wasn't showing. So I'm trying to bring it back. Alright, so we are going to create a background which is very simple. So I'm making it very big so that everything stays inside the camera. And you have to make sure uh, the cup looks like it's really sitting on top of the background or the floor. So adding subdivision surface to make it um, a little smooth. Then I will add a loop cut to make the floor flat Alright, so we are done with every modeling aspect 
of the scene. Or what is left is some tweaking to look the way I really want it to look. So I will keep on making a little changes to look uh, the way I want it. Alright, so I noticed um, the scale of the whole thing is off. So I wanted to use just an empty to scale everything. So I added an empty, then I used child off to um, I used child off to control everything using the empty. So I first select the the object I want. I so I first select the object I want to control with the empty. Then I I assign it to a child of constraint. So I'm assigning everything to a child of constraint, and the the target is going to be an empty. So remember to click on clear inverse then set inverse to bring the object back to the original position. Alright so I'm bringing them back. So like I said the aim of this was to control the scale with just one object. So control all the model with just one object. So I noticed the model was a little bit tall. So I scaled it on the X and Y axis only. So I first press S, then I press um, Shift Z. So it's going to scale and will not include Z axis. So yeah, I think this is looking very nice. Um, it's it's having a little boldness to it. Alright, so this is the end of the part 2 of modeling. I hope this was very interesting for you guys. I hope you guys learned something from this part and hopefully we are going to meet in part 3, which is the materials and rendering. So alright, have a nice day and meet you in the next video. Bye, bye.